Good morning, everybody. So today I wanted to film a morning routine. <laughs> it's a little crazy. I actually just kind of finished filming it, but of course this is the intro for it. I don't know how I managed to pull it off. Our mornings are pretty hectic. It's always go, go, go. Um, <laughs> but I managed to pretty much show you guys what we do on school mornings. Weekend mornings are a little different, a little different of course, but our school mornings are just like I said, go, go, go. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy um, our morning routine and I will see you guys at the very end. Really, my morning routine starts at night. So this is honestly, typically the time that you'll see me in bed is about 9.20 at night right now. I am gonna watch some Netflix, but I have a thousand alarms ranging from midnight until 11.30 p.m. Literally. Almost any time I need to wake up, I have on an, <laughs> on an alarm for one reason or another. But for school nights, um, you'll see in the morning that I wake Ella up at no later than 7, but she's usually up at 6.30. So especially if I know I'm going to be doing my makeup in the morning, I start about 5.45. Then I set my 5.53, my 6 o'clock. And at that point, I really, really should probably get up. Um, but I do set a 6.09 just in case for some reason I sleep past the 6 o'clock. So between 5.45 and 6 o'clock, that kind of like 15 minute window is usually when I get up. So my alarms are set. My ringer is up. I always double check that as well. And I actually want to very quickly go into here because... My alarms have been quite obnoxious recently. I do not like waking up to radar and I keep meaning to change this. So I'm actually going to set it to my personal favorite is Silk. I just think it's much more relaxing than the obnoxious alarm. And no more radar. I hate that. It's like the worst way to wake up. So all my alarms are set. My ringer is up. I'm going to watch my show, but I'm going to get us plugged in and then I'll see you guys in the morning. So by the time I made my way downstairs and started filming, it was a little bit after six. The first thing I have to do when I come downstairs is feed Arrow. I have this variety pack of Frisky's wet food that he gets along with a bowl of dry food every day. <laughs> I have to do this first thing in the morning because he won't stop meowing until I finally give him his food. Again, he gets one can a day, but I split it in half, so he'll get half of it now and then half of it when I get home from work. He honestly eats really quickly in the morning, so as soon as he's done, he likes to be let outside for the day. At this point is when I start doing my makeup, so I pull out my palettes, my brushes, and my train case for the day. And I always try to find something good to watch on YouTube or Netflix. I happen to be watching Shane Dawson's new documentary, which is so good so far. But I'm just gonna pull my hair up and out of my face for now. I will fix it a little bit later on in the video. Like I mentioned when I was setting my alarms, my daughter usually is up by seven so I start on my makeup and get pretty much as far as I can until she's up and then I'll come back and finish what I haven't done already. Usually I can get a lot done though in the time that I'm given if not finished by the time that she gets up. Just before seven she started calling for me so I made my way upstairs. Hey. I'll give her a little bit of time in the morning just to watch some of her favorite kid YouTubers as she pulls out her table and gets ready for breakfast. Hi there! Good morning! I really like Honey Heart C, I like Cookie Swirl C, we like Genevieve's Playhouse, we like Ryan's Toy Review. Then I asked her what kind of cereal she would like. Today she picked out Cocoa Pebbles and for myself I'm feeling Frosted Flakes. I'm going to give Ella a chance to eat her cereal and this is a good opportunity for me to eat my breakfast. I don't normally get another chance to eat for quite a while because I go right to work so I always try to eat something. Mm -hmm. 
After breakfast, while she's still watching YouTube, now's a great time to pack her a snack. I usually try to make it a healthy snack. Today I am doing kind of a mix. So I'm picking out some strawberries, some seedless grapes, and some watermelon that I have in the fridge. And I just chop it up and put it into a little baggie for her. Any remaining watermelon, I'm just gonna put in a small bowl for myself since there's not much left. Once in a while, I'll give her a more non-healthy snack like a brownie or some chips or something like that but this is honestly our kind of our go-to snack every day to keep her snack cool for the day i just wrap an ice pack up with some paper towel i place it at the bottom of her lunch bag and then i have this kind of snap together uh, Tupperware container and I always throw in a juice box along with her snack inside Zip it up and we can pack it up in her backpack I also make sure she always has some cold water that I placed in the fridge the night before And I always put that in her side pocket so it's easy to reach Once she's done with her breakfast we check the weather and then we head upstairs to start getting ready So for the mornings that I have to particularly work um, I always wear something comfortable I just throw on some leggings. I have a sweatshirt today because it's going to be rainy all day um, and then I have to get her dressed next. Depending on the weather of course is how I decide her outfit but for today it's kind of a rainy and a cool day so I picked her out a little pair of leggings along with a mini sweatshirt and she'll be wearing rain boots later on as well. I always try to pick her out a pair of accessories as well to match her outfit for the day. Next is to make her bed. I always try to make her bed in the morning. We're definitely going to get into the routine of having her make the bed just so she understands the importance of chores. But for now, this is how I make it and honestly, it takes no time at all. I put the finishing touches on getting her dressed in the morning and throw on a pair of socks. Once we're back downstairs, I brush out her hair and then I style it for the day. I find this style to be super easy, just pulling her hair back in a half up, half down look and then putting a really pretty bow on top. Myself, I head to the bathroom just to brush out and fix my hair a little bit so it's a little bit more put together and then I put in any accessories I'm wearing for the day. I didn't record myself brushing her teeth, but of course it's part of our morning routine. It would just be way too distracting to try to film and brush her teeth. We always make sure that we get our multivitamins though. She has hers and I also take my prenatals in the morning. It's an easy way so we both don't forget to take them. We're gonna be heading out shortly, so I grab my non-slip work shoes for the restaurant and I throw on whatever shoes she happens to be wearing today, which again, she's wearing her rain boots. I always try to throw in a small load of laundry in the morning just to maintain the laundry so it doesn't get out of control. Just before 8 o'clock, we're going to start putting on our jackets and heading out for the day. <laughs> you ready for school, girlfriend? Gonna have fun today? You think so? But it's going to rain today. It's going to so rain today, but that's okay. Oh, can I need to get a saddle. Um, 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 a saddle? Yeah, it comes with this. Gotcha. But where are you going to have recess? Not outside, indoors. Because it's raining? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. At this point in our morning routine, we are pretty much ready to go. I always grab a couple last minute things. Of course, my bag, her backpack is packed and ready to go. And then depending on the what we have planned for that day, today we are actually going back to Spirit Halloween to return her costume because yeah. she wanted to be a fox. So I ended yes. up ordering something off of Amazon. And what? You know, I saw like a fox costume and it has like so much fur on mm -hmm. its feet. Yep, I ordered her one. So it's on the way in Amazon. So we're going to go return the unicorn costume to get our money back. Um, but at this point, my laundry is going. So I'll throw it in the dryer when we get home. We're pretty much packed. Uh. And... We can head out to the car. So the process of dropping her off at school is actually really, really easy. We're just gonna pull in here. Yes, and wait for the teacher to come. Usually we're a couple minutes earlier, so we might not like be front of the line, but it's, I mean, it's fine. It all goes pretty quick, but teachers are pulling in, taking their spots. We're just gonna pull uh, around. But they're all the same. Mm -hmm. 
we basically just get in line with these cars and wait and then a teacher comes out to escort them across the street to the school so super easy we just kind of we park it's 8 10 they usually come out like no later than and, 8 18 and when you park you can actually take your kid out of yeah, your car. so I, I unbuckle her so she has some um movement Privacy. what happened Privacy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't need privacy. I just, I don't want to move if you're up here. But she's allowed to play with her toys until we start moving. Here, and she's got to sit again. Here's the bridle. Mm -hmm. You can see the one a little closer. Oh. You're so smart with horses. You know that? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. But this looks like a real one. Oh, wait. That's it. Whoa. You all right? I on these phones. See the silver? You can kind of see it changing blue in the sun. Yeah, it looks kind of blue or purple. We haven't decided if it's... But, but we're in, but if you well, it's, a, it's a girl horse, right? Well, if I bring it too close, it's overexposed, so I bring it, it back so like they can blue. see the color. Oh, yeah. Oh, so is that, but... <laughs> That's just the sun playing tricks on you, silly. You know what? Do you have anything special going on at school today? Today is Wednesday. I, I think you might I think have, like, so. a music class or something. I don't know, but we only do it on Fridays and Sundays. Mm -hmm. And I only pack her... You guys saw me, obviously, pack a, a breakfast for her or a snack for her, but I don't pack her lunch except on Fridays. Cause she don't like pizza. She likes white pizza, Alfredo pizza, but she doesn't like um, tomato what? sauce. So I always pack her a home lunch, but, but just on Fridays. But today is Wednesday. But I do actually got me home lunch today. <laughs> no, because cause you Friday. need to learn to eat other stuff other than mac and cheese. We will be having spaghetti and meatballs for dinner tonight though. And I'll make that yummy bread I like. Because you don't like it. <laughs> and some cheese, some grated cheese for your meatballs. <laughs> you weirdo. Plushy. Do you play over there today? Oh, yeah, but. Right, don't be going down any slides if it's still wet. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm serious. You don't want to be. It's not raining today. Well, it was. It, I think it rained last night and it definitely rained yesterday. So I don't know I if think everything so, is still wet. So, but I think we have indoor recess because it's going to rain today. What do you do if it's indoor recess? We play with the art. Do you just hang out in the classroom or do you go somewhere else? We go in stations. She was born on Friday. I was born on a Monday. Really? And you were born on a Sunday. For a long time. <laughs> what? Yeah, you, were was, you were born on a Sunday at 2.05 in the morning. In the what? What, babe? Well, mm, this brother's going to be on two more days With to the, get... The baby boy? Yeah. I don't know what day he'll be born. He'll be born in January or beginning of February if he's late. Mm. I don't know what day. We'll see. I think he's due on a Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. So we just kind of wait until the cars drop their kids off in front of us. And then once they move up. <clears throat> we will move up. And then I just basically help her out. <laughs> I said a set. Got it? Because. Oh, my God, my God. <laughs> You're stuck. Got it? Alright, have a good day. Good morning. Love you. And that is it. 
that was it you guys she is dropped off um, then I head right to work I don't stop anywhere that's why I pretty much grabbed everything that I needed for the day whether it was like a return like we're doing today after school or sometimes I'll bring my bill binder if I have a bill to pay today or my computer just in case I have time at the end of the day to do some editing before picking her up whatever it is I make sure that I have it on me but I usually listen to the radio mix 104.1 if you're in the New England area I love listening to Carson and Kennedy in the morning they're like my favorite talk show hosts they play some music but I honestly prefer like podcasty type things especially first thing in the morning but another thing that I do very often not every morning but I, <laughs> I always have such a sweet tooth first thing in the morning so a lot of the times I'll stop at the gas station and get myself one of these which is a double chocolate chip um, rice crispy treat and I usually have a bottle of water in here that I'm working on first thing in the morning. Um, but again, I don't stop every morning, but I do stop maybe twice a week and get one of these. I happen to have this saved from yesterday. I didn't eat the whole thing, so. <laughs> I know it's not the best thing, but I've already had breakfast. But sometimes, sometimes bowls of cereal in the morning don't work out, so. I'll have something quick to eat. To be honest, I'm just super surprised I was able to pull off this morning routine, especially on a real school day. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous waking up this morning. Obviously, I woke up a little later than I normally do. I was just really, really, really tired. Um, so I could have given myself more time. But we pulled it off successfully. She looks cute and put together and ready for school. She's all packed up. If you guys want to see a... Um, weekend morning routine obviously that's gonna be a much easier for me to film however I don't think it's gonna be as like eventful and as like boom 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 you know like my weekend weekday morning school day mornings are just crazy and I don't have a second to breathe half of the time um, but weekends obviously we have a little bit more time to get ready and stuff so let me know if you guys want to see that I'd be happy to record it for you otherwise um, I don't think I would have been able to pull this off with baby number two Two already here maybe I'll do an updated version with a newborn is here uh, morning routine with a with a <laughs> she's not a toddler but with a child and a newborn that would be interesting I might need help on that one so if you guys want to see any of those let me know otherwise please go ahead leave a thumbs up I worked so hard on this video it was so much harder than what it looked like on camera so I'd really appreciate seeing you guys if you liked it um, also while you're down there if you don't want to miss any new videos hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys soon bye